subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Cyclone Batsarai is continuing westwards in the Indian Ocean, northeast of Rodrigues at this time, and it will pass north of that island. Impacts, though, may still not be rolled out for the island. Let's get to the current intensity that Mateo France has it at. It is a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles per hour or 150 kilometers per hour, that's 10 minute winds, with a pressure of 963 millibars, and it's continuing that westward motion at 11 miles per hour or 17 kilometers per hour. The CDPS rating we had for Rodrigues yesterday has since been taken down as the system is no longer forecast to get close to that, that island. It is now outside of the cone of uh, Mateo Francis Cone, but we could see another CDPS come up for maybe Mauritius or La Reunion in the next day or two as we are looking at the storm maybe getting closer to those islands. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that, of course. The size of the storm is fairly compact. It's even smaller than yesterday. In fact, I took a look at the cyclone force winds. They only extend about five nautical miles to the southern quadrant. Here's the current distances. It is 324 miles or 521 kilometers from Rodrigues, 691 miles or 1112 kilometers from Mauritius, 833 miles or 1341 kilometers from La Reunion, 1250 miles or 2012 kilometers from Mahana Noro in Madagascar, and 1330 miles or 2140 kilometers from Atana Ana Arivo, that's the capital of Madagascar. And now getting to the current intensity spread, there is a bit of a spread. JTWC and AMSU are both agreeing on 90 miles per hour, SATCON at 100, uh, Mateo France and ADT are at 105 miles per hour at this time. And let's get to the current forecast cone. You can see it's a bit different than yesterday. Uh, you know, yesterday we were expecting it to become a cyclone north of Mauritius and La Reunion. Now we're looking at this potentially becoming an intense tropical cyclone on their uh, scale that you can see at the bottom of your screen there north of those islands at this time passing north of the island but you can see that extent wind field um, that might be 34 knot I'd imagine what, what that wind field would be uh, to passing north of those islands um, but right now that cone suggests the storm center will remain north but we definitely cannot roll out impact for those islands some models bring the storm center pretty close to those islands, which will definitely not be welcome at all. The current sea surface temperatures all the way up to Madagascar, even beyond then, uh, very favorable. We're looking at uh, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters here. The H4 fears one solution, looking at a category three cyclone approaching Madagascar by the end of the forecast period and rainfall. We could see some heavy rainfall in La Reunion, Mauritius, Rodrigues, and Madagascar. The models right now are in general agreement of this remaining a cyclone throughout the next few days. Intensification, by the way, uh, likely to continue on. Wind shear, we might see a rise towards 20 knots, which with these small systems, they can be fairly susceptible to wind shear. The track's generally in line, with the exception of the CTCX, of it passing pretty far north of those islands of Mauritius and La Reunion. Relative humidity will be dropping until about the third, where rapidly spikes up and sea temperatures are not going to be an issue. Here's the current satellite imagery we can see earlier today. It did look better. It tried to pop out an eye there on infrared you could see, um, but in the latest frames it started to lose that appearance. We'll have to see what happens with the storm if it is able to pop out that eye again. Here's the storm in relation to Rodrigues, Mauritius, La Reunion, and Madagascar. Stay tuned to 413. We'll keep you updated on what happens with Batsarai alongside other tropical threats.